Yeah, 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 no, man, you already know what time it is. You already know what time it is. What time, what time, what time it is, man. We're back here to search some more game on the ground for the Munger house. We just got the pound and ready for the next round, boy. With that being said, I already know what a whole lot of you are going to say. Oh, it's the new year. It's the new year. Oh. Nobody cares, bro. Nobody cares. And the reason why nobody cares is because you're all just going to go back to doing the same exact things that you were doing last year, this year. You're all going to go back to doing the same exact things last year, this year. You say you're going to do this. You say you're going to do that. Oh, man, this time I'm going to get in the gym. Man. I'm going to get fit. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that, man. But guess what? It's going to last for about four or five days. Oh, man, this is tiring, man. I don't think I can keep going like this, man. I'm going to have to just stop, man. Or you're going to try to find another way to do it. And that other way of doing it is going to be not doing it because you're going to get lazy. You're going to get complacent in the way that you are. And then you're backing on the same exact hamster wheel. You can't make it up, bro. You can't make it up at all whatsoever. That is the cycle of the human life. Doing the same thing over and over again. Saying that you're going to do something different the next year. And then doing the same thing you did last year the next year. Over and over and over and over and over again. That is the cycle of the human life. The human uh, uh, tendencies. We tend to, we are creatures of habit. So we have a habit of doing the same things over and over and over again. But what we don't have is the habit of breaking old habits. And we're going to jump into it. My bad, y'all. I thought I heard something. I was tripping out for a second. But old habits like eating certain foods that you don't supposed to eat. Let me tell y'all something. The title of this episode are two different passages. Matthew 15:11. In Acts 10 9 Matthew 15 11 Jesus talked to was talking to the Pharisees as well as the crowd that was around him and he said what goes into you cannot defile you but what comes out of you is what defiles you meaning your where your heart is your thoughts your words your actions those are the things that come out of you what he means by the things that go into you was he would the, the Pharisees were questioning him as to why his followers didn't wash their hands before they ate or why pilgrims didn't wash their hands before they ate and he wasn't condemning them for it or whatever the case may be and he said listen up you quote unquote teachers of the law what goes into you does not defile you now let me tell y'all something else too when it says, therefore, Jesus declared all foods clean, that's not in the Bible. That was added to it. That was not originally in the Bible. Because this is the reason why it's not. If Jesus is God, he's God in the flesh, right? He is God made man to come live with us, to show us how to live according to the law. Why would God feel the need to change his law? If he said this is what you're supposed to eat and this is what you don't supposed to eat back in Leviticus, why would he then become human and say, okay, but now this is what you're supposed to, this, you don't have to worry about that anymore. That's done away with, that's old. No, it don't make no sense. If God is infinite and his word is infinite and it's alive and it's living and it's never changing, why would he change his word? If God, does, if God's word is is set in stone every time he says something, why would he go back and change it? He didn't change it for nobody else. He didn't. Um, so whatever food, the foods that he said that were unclean, we still don't supposed to eat. The foods that he said were clean, we supposed to eat. Uh, and the reason why is because the animals that are unclean, the creatures that are unclean, are unclean because they keep the earth clean. They feed on all the carcasses. They feed on all the, the deleted things. 
and the bones they turned to, to, to compost in the earth. Those animals were made to keep the earth clean. It's a cycle, a never ending cycle of, of the earth cleansing itself. It's a way that God made for the earth to take care of itself. That's why we're not supposed to eat certain animals, certain things. But we do so in our ignorance because we say, oh, well, this is what Jesus said. No, that's not what Jesus said, boy. That ain't what Jesus said. But then y'all are going to go and say, well, look at uh, Acts chapter 10, verse 9. When, when Jesus told Peter to pick from an animal and eat all kinds of different animals. Nah. He, didn't, he, he wasn't saying that, saying that animals, that all animals are clean for us to eat. He used the unclean animals. When he said, do not call anything in, that God has made impure or unclean. Because Peter said, no, Lord, I will not. Because I've never ate anything that's unclean. And he said, do not call anything unclean that God has made. Uh, and the reason why he said that is because he used the unclean animals as a reference to the Gentiles in the world. The Gentiles meaning the non the, the, the non Israelites. You know, like the Romans, the Greeks and uh, all that. All them people, they were the quote unquote Gentiles. And the reason why that Jesus gave Peter this vision is because he sent a Roman to fetch Peter so that the Roman could listen to what Peter had to say because the Roman was a god fearing man. The Roman wanted to learn more about God. And because he was seeking him out, Jesus told him, hey, send for this guy right here because he can tell you, he'll tell you what you need to know. So he said, bet. He sent his people out there to, to search out Peter and they found him. And, and Jesus told Peter, look, there's three men that are coming, but do not be afraid because I've sent them to you. Don't hesitate to go with them. And I'm going to do this right. Oh, man. Missed it. But, um, no. See, this this the, the thing with people is everybody always feels the need to twist the Bible, to twist Scripture. And I'm going to get you up on out of here immediately. Bye-bye. People like to twist the Bible to their own fitting. People like to twist God's Word to fit their own narrative, to make their own lifestyle comfortable. The reason you don't supposed to eat unclean foods is because they are unclean for you, for your body, for your health. Why we eat clean foods is because they are clean. The reason why we eat goat, cow, duck, chicken, all this stuff, all these animals, if you notice, are vegetarian. They eat grass, vegetables. They don't eat other meat. They're not carnivores. So because they don't eat other meat, they don't have all the different parasites and the, all the other sicknesses and stuff that like pigs and boar and cow and not cow, horse and all this stuff eat. They don't eat that same stuff. So they don't have the same stuff that these other animals carry with them. That's why we're able to eat those. Because if you remember, before the fall of Adam and Eve, God said, I have given you every green herb to eat from, every tree that is good. Before the fall. See, we're supposed to be sustained by, by vegetables and fruits. But because we fell, we changed. We needed more to sustain our bodies with. Because God said that his spirit will not strive with man forever. So we needed something more. So he said, okay, bet. I'm going to lay down some rules for you. These are the food laws. You don't eat this, 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 and this because that's not good for you. But you can't eat this, 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 and that because they are good for you. Because they're vegetarians. They don't carry all the same bull crap that these other animals do. Because these other animals are made to keep the earth clean. I can't tell you how many times people say, oh, yeah, I'm a Christian, man. I go to church. I do this. I do that. But what are they doing? Digging into pork. Oh, yeah, man, this ham is real good. Oh, no, man, these pork ribs are bomb. Can't make this up, bro. 
I'm not saying this to judge you, but I am saying this that you question yourself so that you jump into the Bible and read it for yourself. Because this is the thing. You not going to learn everything that I learned when you read the Bible. You're going to learn something different. It's all going to be relative to truth. But it's going to hit you a different way than it hits me. The Bible has truth in it for everybody. It just hits everybody differently. And that's just how it is. You know, everybody learns differently. Everybody perceives differently. <laughs> and that's a fact. But you got to read it yourself. Don't go to no preacher. Don't go to no uh, pastor. Don't go to no church seeking from a man to tell you what the Bible says because that man's point of view will always be diluted to a certain extent because he's going he's telling you what he learned and what he learned from it might not necessarily be what you need to learn from it everybody learns what they need to learn just different ways that's just how it is so that being said make sure y'all I'm gonna get you up on out of here immediately I'm gonna get you up on out of here immediately too so that being said, man, make sure y'all share with your friends, your families, your mummies, your aunties, your grannies, and everybody else that y'all know. I got other things I got to take care of. With that being said, I'm out of here. Deuces.